Welcome to a special edition of Inside Town Government. We are live at the EOC, the Emergency Operations Center at North Attleboro Police Headquarters, to chat with at least eight of the nine members of the <laughs> Charter Commission. My guess is throughout the evening we will have all nine in attendance. So this is the first of hopefully a quarterly discussion with these gentlemen and one woman. We are looking to do the same with members of the Board of Selectmen and then make our way around to the other town boards, committees, and commissions here in the town of North Attleboro. And yes, all nine are here. <laughs> Let's uh, begin with the gentleman that I first started talking about the Charter Commission with. Uh, that is Mark Fisher, the chairman of the commission. Mark. Uh, Let's go back to the very beginning. Uh, you now have a group of nine individuals, nine town residents. You're about 40% halfway through your task of ultimately getting a question or questions in front of the voters, but take us back to the very beginning. Well, Peter, uh, I was sharing with Don uh, Batesville earlier, 22 months ago, wow. uh, we started talking with a wide range of people uh, to see what their thoughts were about the needs of the town to go through uh, a home rule, <coughs> home rule Charter Commission process and to what extent they would be willing to individually be involved and participate in it. Let's go down the, the table. Uh, Mitch McDonald, who's also the Vice Chair of the Charter Commission, why did you want to serve? Well, first, I'm aspiring to retire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not we all are. We all. Uh, you know, for me, it was it was really rather simple. I'd been involved in community activity in various levels, political, fundraising, volunteerism, for about 20 years, and then work uh, requirements pulled me away. When the notion of something that would empower the voters and perhaps deliver something to them that could have a lasting improvement in the way the town runs. Uh, that alone uh, was worthwhile, really. The, the opportunity to get involved that really could have a lasting impact. And I, I'm optimistic that we're on that path and that's, that's where we'll end up. Donald Bates, why? Yeah, I guess uh, not unlike the others, I've been involved in town government in one form or another uh, for, for a very long time, since uh, 1978, I think it was, starting on RTM. And then as <clears throat> time went along, we began talking about uh, uh, changes in government. I became outspoken at times about it. Uh, and then when uh, this opportunity came up, as much as I had spoken about a charter and the need, I've been an advocate for a charter for a long time, I decided maybe it was about time that I put my efforts where my mouth was. Uh, and that's, that's exactly what I'm doing. And also I look forward to the process being very engaging and, and fascinating to go through. John Casey, your reasons. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty simple. I wanted to get back to the community and uh, like a lot of people on this uh, uh, commission, I've been involved in, in town government somewhat and, and kind of sensed firsthand uh, some of the things that are working well, some things that might could be done better, and uh, I thought I could uh, be a good listener and uh, provide a good perspective uh, to the committee. So I wanted to make a change and hopefully make North Outer World. It's a really great town, and just uh, hopefully uh, do my small part in trying to make it better. Anthony Rinaldi, Jr., otherwise known as Tony, otherwise known as the father of the lead in Harvey being put on by the <laughs> North free plug. High School. There's your free plug. There you go. Thank right? you. My he free was trying plug. to figure out how he was going to work it into his answer. And you so thought you were going to take care of it. Right. <laughs> I know you're busy. Yeah. Why um, giving up all these nights? Um, well, uh, to be honest, I mean, unlike everybody else here, I've never been on town government. Um, I had a stint on the Little League, and I did a permit process for an addition, but really had no involvement in town government. But government is something I've always kind of been interested in. And <clears throat> seeing the opportunity, been a resident for 20 years, seeing the machinations of the, the non-binding votes go through in regards to mayor, different forms of government coming through, I just, um, just saw it as an opportunity to try and get involved and kind of be, I think there was a, I think there was a um, Sun Chronicle article about kind of, there was a lack of participation at that point in terms of how many people had pulled nomination papers for it um, and the ones that it had were all basically part of town government so I thought a good opportunity to kind of be an outside voice be mm -hmm. something new and also get, have a chance to really learn about it which I which has been mm -hmm. great is kind of like the the experience of the people on the board um, and bringing that experience in and learning more about it has been great so um, I've really enjoyed the time next is William Billy Cummer who we learned before we came on the air 
he'll be a retiree uh, within the next year or so. That's that's true. I'm still working towards it. But um, no, I mean, North Adderbury has been my home my whole life. Uh, I raised my family here. Um, it's a great place. I made friends for life. And good luck, North Adderbury football this weekend. Uh, but playing athletics and I just felt it was time, you know, I have to give back. I owe it to the town to give back, to be um, a sober thought, sober mind, to help this commission be the best that we can be. And I think the charter was the way to do it. And uh, invoke <clears throat> a tremendous amount of discussion and voter response. Steve, you have the last 30 seconds. I'm watching the clock, Peter. <laughs> uh, uh, not as closely the challenges, as I am. We have a list. Uh, uh, maybe 15 or 20 uh, reasonably big decisions, uh, a number of smaller ones, but decisions that will have to be made about uh, all of the things that we've discussed in, in our time here. Uh, have to put it together uh, with enough detail to present what it is in the charter. It'll have to uh, mesh with the bylaws, uh, I think probably maybe at the same time or reasonably shortly thereafter so that everything works out in the transition. And uh, going to get out like Alan Brown did and sold the middle school. I want to thank all nine members of the commission. I want to thank you watching at home. You're probably watching and saying, well, why didn't you not ask them about this? Well, the commission has agreed to meet with us quarterly on North TV, and some of those questions you were hoping I'd ask will certainly be asked in the future. Thank you for watching this special edition of Inside Town Government.